Welcome into the Locker Room Report. I'm Lisa Seymour alongside Coach Winters. Now, Coach, looking back against that, with that win against Malone, uh, sort of two different teams in two different halves, but I guess from a coaching perspective, you'd rather finish strong than, than not. Right. Uh, well, you like to really go big <laughs> early and play a lot of guys, but in a game like that, they, uh, Malone played well, and uh, we found ourselves down in the first half, so we really had to come back and, and play a good second half, and I think that's the best half of football we've played. And talk about the defense in that second half. A lot of guys out, a lot of guys injured, um, expecting a lot of reps from players who don't really play that much. Uh, so just talk about what you saw from your defense in that second half. You know, I thought we had more intensity. I, I think that, that maybe it was a, a bit of confidence, but we played with more intensity. We ran to the football. We created a few... Uh, turnovers or at least turnover possibilities that we didn't capitalize on. So uh, I just thought we played harder. And on the offensive side of the ball, it uh, seemed to finally find a rhythm, even with starting quarterback Carl Roscoe being out. Um, but run after run, Tony Davis, Desmond Martin playing great games on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, I thought the running game really um, was good. I thought we threw the ball effectively when we wanted to. And I thought that Doug Griffin did a nice job of giving us um, a lot of consistent plays. And uh, Coach, looking ahead to this week's game, it's homecoming here at Wayne State. Um, obviously a lot of spirit, a lot of excitement around campus this whole week. And I know homecoming is always special to you and your team. Uh, so just talk a little bit about what preparation has been like this week. <laughs> preparation has been good. Um, you know, it's been intense. Uh, they want to win. They, they know how big it is and, and, and the tradition we have on homecoming. So uh, we just want to try to put everything together. We want to try to um, eliminate some of the stupid mistakes we've made in the last couple of weeks and, and really play with great intensity. And what can we expect to see from this Northwood team? I know they're young, 2-2, uh, two and 1-1 two, one and one in the conference just like us, um, but what can we expect to see from this Northwood team? Well, they're physical. Um, they've got two really good running backs that, that they use very well. Um, so they're a good offensive football team. And defensively, I think they run to the football and, and they've recruited some guys to try to make them a little bit stronger inside. And coach, what are your keys to victory this weekend? <sighs> I think number one, we have to play better defense. Uh, we've got five or six guys back who've been missing for the past two or three weeks. Uh, we need to play the kind of defense that, that we're used to. Um, number two, offensively, we need to throw the ball better. We're still not throwing it very well. Um, we're not making the plays that we need to make. And, um, and then we also have to just continue to run the ball. All right, well, Coach, thanks for your time and best of luck. Thank you. That's Coach Winners on your locker room report. Thanks for joining us.